is Imran and uh, today we're going to talk about how to build biceps muscles. You know there was a time even when I was very lean and I didn't know what to do. So I joined gym, I spoke to my trainer, I did some research and after that uh, with a lot of hard work I finally achieved what I was looking for. So this video is going to be all about how to build bicep muscles. Uh, people think that you have to, uh, you, you know, work out on your biceps twice or thrice a week to gain muscles but that's not really true so in this video you're going to learn everything about how to build biceps muscles and uh, it's going to be really helpful because I'm going to share all my experiences that I've gained over the past few years in this video okay so um, let's begin then so the first tip is that you just shock your muscles okay so I'm going to try teach you one exercise which will and really help you in more effective way because a normal way of doing exercise would be you know full range of motion but what you can do in this exercise specific side that I'm telling you is basically uh, <clears throat> you need to bring your arms up from this position while holding the barbell uh, and you can put uh, uh, you know 5 kg dumbbell uh, sort of 5 kg weight you don't have to really uh, put a lot of weight on that so you need to lift the bar and you need to go 10 reps from this position to the top okay and then after once you've done that 10 reps from this position like this okay then you will do from the bottom up until the mid position like this okay so this is basically shocking the uh, muscles because uh, what happens is when you hold the bar at this position then you there's a constant uh, tension that's built in your muscles at that point okay so when I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to work out that you can see that the constant tension is built in the bice uh, biceps and even when you are working out you'll be able to feel that because when you bring it down uh, then you know the tension is released but if you hold that that position then definitely the, the uh, constant tension is built uh, and kept intact on that muscle let's begin then so you can see that I'm bringing the bar from the midway uh, to the top. I need to do 10 repetition with that. And it's really important that you focus on the negative motion, the eccentric motion. Okay, and bring the bar down slowly and breathe in and breathe out. So when you actually uh, bring the bar down, then you need to breathe out. And when you bring the bar up, you can breathe in okay so this breathe in and breathe out is extremely important guys because uh, when you breathe in you inhale oxygen and all those oxygen oxygen is uh, provided to your muscles and it's really really important for those uh, muscles to have those oxygen because uh, then in that way uh, they'll be able to grow faster you know the oxygen will flow through the blood and, and reach those muscles Keep your body straight and don't swing because a lot of people guys you know they swing and uh, then you're actually using the momentum uh, you're using gravity to uh, you know put it down then you're not really working out so it is extremely important that both ways whether you are work going up or going down you need to go ahead and uh, uh, keep it really really slow especially when you are bringing it down okay so you have to keep your stomach in as you can see in the video and chest out okay and don't swing the biceps bring it really slowly keep your body straight so now this way so 10 repetitions are done now you need to bring it from down uh, up until the midway position so I'm not going to do 10 repetitions this is just to show you and don't lock your elbows guys okay because uh, if you lock your elbows then you, you're gonna go ahead and uh, release all the tension from the biceps so when you bring the bar down uh, make sure that uh, it should be slightly above the straight hand okay so that's just really important so 10 reps down from them from down to midway position okay and you keep it down right so as you can see that it's really help me pump up the muscles and put mind to muscles guys so it's extremely important that you put mind to muscles because a lot of times you will see people when they're working out uh, they are just you know 
swinging their arm while doing biceps and that's not really going to help you build muscles if you want to really build muscles then you need to go ahead and uh, do it slowly and you know think uh, put your mind to muscles when you're working out when you're lifting weight, weight and, and feel that pressure on your biceps muscles okay What you can also do, you can do posing guys because uh, it's really really important. Try to visualize what you want to achieve. Okay, because if you visualize, then it's going to really help you. Uh, you know, you need to set goals in your mind that this is what I want to do, this is what I want to achieve. Uh, and if you go and look at yourself in the mirror and you see the growth happening, then that really motivates you. You know, I, I always do that, you know. No, I don't think what other people are going to think about you, uh, what they're going to say about you. Don't worry about all of that okay because when you go to the gym it's just you There's and nobody else in the gym okay because the same people who probably may be mocking at one point uh, will go and appreciate you in future when you go and achieve your goals okay so don't go too heavy uh, keep the weight medium because we are not going to become bodybuilder over here like you know go in olympics or something unless you have a specific target like that then it's all a different story altogether but for Staying fit and building muscles, it's important that you do it with a medium weight and really focus on the uh, exercise that you're doing, really focus on the breathing, really focus on the eccentric motion uh, when you're really bringing the bar down. Okay, uh, we don't want to show it, show off to anyone that, you know, I'm lifting like 20 kgs, 30 kgs. Uh, your muscles, your body is going to tell you how much weight you need to lift. Okay. So once I was, you know, really thin and, you know, what I've been able to achieve now, you can see it's been with a lot of hard work. Next is the concentration curl and this is an isolation exercise to get the biceps peak. Uh, this exercise needs to be again done with a medium weight depending on, you know, how much weight you are able to lift comfortably. And you need to do it really, really slowly. This is, you need to focus on the eccentric motion uh, by putting mind to muscles. Okay. So you'll be able to achieve the peak with the help of this exercise all right cool all right guys so i'm going to end this part of the video uh, with the by summing up uh, you know saying that you need to shock your muscles shocking your muscles means that you know you need to try something different and if you continue to do the same thing that you are doing then you will achieve the same result as you were uh, getting earlier so if you want to get new results if you want to achieve new things then you need to try something different okay so uh, in my next video you will be able to see uh, that uh, you know how Arnold is talking about uh, how to shock your muscles so basically you know if if you have a routine of uh, going to the gym and doing bicep curls first with barbell then going for dumbbells your body exactly knows that this is what you're going to do and your body get into that routine so you need to break the routine you need to break some rules and, and by shocking the muscles probably do some supersets and you know try something different don't just keep doing the same routine again and again if you want to get different result okay so in my next video you will get to know more tips uh, because i don't want to make this video too long okay so i hope you like the video if you did like then please uh, do share with others so that they can also learn and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much guys. Take care.